Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to combinational arithmetic circuits. So in this video, we are going to discuss the implementation of full adder using basic logic gates but without XOR gate. So previously we discussed the same with XOR gate. Here we'll discuss without XOR gate. With basic logic gates without XOR gate. Okay, so first we have to see the basic block diagram of full adder. So, full adder has three inputs if you remember the two bits to be added A and B and the input carry. There are two outputs for these three inputs. One is sum and one is output carry. Sum is expressed as A bar, B bar, seen or A bar, B, seen bar or A, B bar, seen bar or A, B, seen and the output carry is the simplified version I'm using A, B, B, C, A, C or C whatever way you want to write. So these are ands and this is or the plus sign it is or the product it is and. So here we will be using a three input gates and a four input gate for these four ORs and because there are three variables involved in the AND expression we will be using three input gates to reduce complication. So basically what a three input gate is, let's say we want to perform this operation. I am just giving you a basic idea so that you understand. A three input gate, let's say we have to perform this operation A, B, C, three variables. So what we will do, let's say we first take one AND gate, we provide A and B, output will be A and B, then that output will provide to another AND gate and we will provide C to that. So it will be A and B and C. So it will be A and B and C. So directly we will be using a 3 input AND gate like this. Because for every 3 input gate there will be 2 2 input gates will require and it will unnecessarily complicate the whole diagram, it will become very messy, very lengthy and you will lose track of where it started and where it ended. So for that I will be using 3 input gates, okay. So this is the basic idea. So this whole thing it is a 3 input gate combined. Okay, this. Okay, now we have to implement this expression. So, still it will be a bit lengthy. With all these reductions also, it will be a bit lengthy. So, please focus here. Okay. So, first we'll take the three inputs. Okay, A, B. And C. Then we'll take their uh, complements.
because they are required in the data. So this is A bar, this is B bar, this is C bar. Now what we require? A bar, B bar, C in, sorry this is C in, okay, not only C, it's carry input, sorry. A bar, B bar, C in, A bar, B, C in bar, A B bar, C in bar and A B, C in, okay. So first let's take a bar B bar C in. So first let us use a 3 input AND gate. So two 2 input AND gates are inside it combined. So A bar B bar C in. So okay A bar then B bar then C in so we have this as A bar B bar C in ok Next, we'll use another AND gate, 3 input AND gate again. I'm drawing the output line in advance. So next one, let's say it is A bar B C in bar. So, A bar this will be B B and C in bar this So it is A bar B C in bar. So let us write the inputs here so that we will understand. Okay, okay, okay. Now we have to take it upwards a bit. Okay, this much will be enough, yes. It will give us enough room so that we can see which inputs are there on the top. Otherwise, it can get confusing. Okay, now the third AND gate. This one, let's say it is A, B bar, C in bar. So this is A here, A, then this is B bar, okay, this is B bar, if you are able to see, this is B bar, okay, this is B bar. We'll take from here, okay? Then this is C in bar, this, this one, this line. So we have A, B bar, C in bar. Now let us take A, B, C lines in advance so that we can, we don't lose track. This is B, this is A, this is C. So, 
A, this is B, this is B, yes, this is B, B and this one is C, C in bar is just adjacent to it to the right, so this is C in. So this is for A, B, C in. So another AND gate, 3 input AND gate, so we have first A, then B, then C. So, we have A, B, C. Okay. Now, finally, we have to OR them together. So, again, we have to use a 4 input OR gate. So, a 4 input OR gate basically has 3 2 input OR gates inside it combined together. So, we have to sum them together or them together so let me use here so So finally, we have the sum a bar b bar c in a bar b c in bar a b bar c in bar a b c in. So this is the sum. Now for the carry, we'll go to a little bit downside. So here I will be taking. I'm taking this a b c in from here. Okay, a b c in. So let me write it here so that there is no confusion so this is a this is b this is c so in the carry there is no inverted or complemented variables so again we have to take and gates three two input and gates here two input and gates are required So A B B C in C in A. So here A so here it is A B then B and C in that is B C in and then this is A C. So again we have to use a 3 input OR gate which is basically 2 2 input OR gates combined together. So this is the carry ok the output carry. So if you are able to see it let me minimize it. So this is the final expression, the sorry the final logical implementation, logic diagram, okay this. So you have to keep some patience 
you know draw the input lines output lines carefully take the inputs properly a slight uh, error here and there and the whole logic diagram it will be wrong okay so this is logic diagram implementation of full adder without xor okay so here the number of gates are slightly you know it is uh, more here we have used three input gates see so here and gate 1 and gate 2 three input and gates gate 3 and gate 4 or gate a four input or gate 1 and here another or gate okay two this is one and this is and five these are two input and gates okay and five six and seven okay but if you use it with xor then the number of gates will be significantly less so here i'm just trying to show you how you can implement it with basic gates with xor and without xor okay so this is it. so here uh, we used uh, three input and four input or gates so similar to and gate so it is basically something like this so let us say we have four line uh, input lines and we have to perform this operation so how we can do it we have taken an or gate a and b and we have got a or b we apply it to another or gate we provide c and we have a or b or c then we provide it to another or gate and we have d so a or b or c or d so similarly this whole thing we can replace it with because there will be three or gates so we can replace it with a single four input or gate a b c a or b or c or d so this whole thing this can be replaced with this okay so this is the logic so extra you know two gates it would make the whole diagram a bit complicated lengthy messy so instead of that we use three input and gates three input uh, four input or gates like that okay so this is the basic logic